All right, Kanye West took to Instagram to defend his wife, Kim Kardashian West, and and they family as well against, you know, pretty much Drake and uh, Tyson Bedford thing. And kind of Nick Cannon was uh, on Complex, and he, I don't get into it, what he said, all right? And I'll link an article there, and you can find his rant on Instagram. I think it may still be up. But it's the Boxing Clinic and more. Y'all know what the business is. We talk more than boxing. Um, so make sure you check out our ever so growing playlist to kind of categorize our content. But um, apparently, you know, a Scorpion album that Drake dropped, you know, some of the songs on there were supposed to be about his relationship about uh, with Kim Kardashian that he piped her down and, you know, he did his thing with her. And the past is the past. You know what I'm saying? You know, if Drake did have Kardashian before Kanye West, um, OK, you know, it is what it is. We already know what, what she did with Ray J and, you know, the whole nine. All right. We know the family history about being gold diggers and, and using men as come ups to to uh, to finance, you know, to finance their lives, you know, finance the Gucci bags and the fake body and all that type of stuff. OK. And um, apparently simp Kanye West, which, you know, I don't know what happened to do, you know, mentally, you know, he just went off the rockers. OK. You know, Jay-Z had to get away from him. But um, Simp contact Kanye West, he got mad because Drake didn't come out and dispel those rumors, okay? You know, he got people thinking thinking he piped or hit Kim Kardashian West um, when he could just come out and kill the rumors, okay? He could just come out and say, you know what? Woo, 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 woo. It didn't happen, okay? It wasn't good enough for Kanye West to say, for Kim Kardashian to say it never happened, okay? And she probably lying out her mouth anyway. But... You know, what people are missing about and people, you know, I'm talking to somebody at work saying it's, you know, it's her, it's his wife, it's his wife. And he got to come out and defend his wife. It thing, it's, it's, I mean, dude, dudes don't move like they should move. Okay. You know, I'd hit him up on the line personally and, you know, woo, woo, woo. I'm not taking this publicly, man, public. And now what was his point about getting on camera, being public? And if, you know, we can't, you know, come to an understanding on, on the phone or we can't sit down and chop it up and, and have an understanding, then I got to come see you. It ain't going to be no talking, it ain't going to be no visuals, it ain't going to be no no, no pleasure street. When I see you, we're going to have a conversation. It just might be a physical conversation, okay? But right now, I'm not about to go out on social media, you know, begging, you know, Drake, who's arguably the biggest rapper right now, you know, to say he didn't pipe my wife. How lame and simp do you look? You know, if you're really about that life, you get him on the phone and woo-woo-woo, but people forget, even though Kanye said he didn't tell Pusha T about Drake's secret life, and obviously him and Drake had some type of relationship because Drake said that weak line uh, saying that Kanye would pull one bigger than his pool and they was neighbors and whatever song that was. So obviously they know they know about each other. OK, you know, they know about each other. They was neighbors, or whatever. They had some pleasantries together. And also it goes back to, uh, you know, Drake uh, put some uh, put Kendall Jenner or Kyrie Jenner in a song line. And Kanye West felt that was disrespectful. Now, you got to understand he got to defend his family. OK. Now, I understand that, all right? I ain't defending that, but at the end of the day, you know, for Kanye um, and for Drake, you know, he, he, he didn't he tell Pusha T about Drake's secret life and his secret kid with a porn star and, and wasn't they beefing? And Kanye said, yeah, yeah, I was wrong. I could have I could have told Pusha T not to diss Drake on my produced soundtrack and he would have listened. No, but you didn't. You fueled that. That man Pusha T ain't know all that, all that business about him. You told him all that business. And if you didn't tell them and you heard it on the song or you that you produced, which you probably listened over to again, you knew that was wrong. So you think your apology is supposed to end the war on your terms. No, it don't end the war on your terms. OK, James Prince told Drake not to respond to Pusha T, but you were. The, he believes and I believe, even though you dispelled it, you were the source of where Pusha T found out about some of his personal shit to put in his raps. So it don't end when you say end. It ends when Drake say it ends. Unless you want to get physical with Drake. And that's what it's going to be. Don't get on the Instagram and get mad and talk about Nick Cannon. Kind of fueled the rumors. And Nick Cannon said it could have happened. Basically he said you never know in Hollywood. It could have happened. Nick Cannon has smashed some of the coldest chicks in the industry. And that's what made Mariah Carey want to leave him. About all the chicks he had smashed before he got with her. And she's so uppity and bougie. She act like he supposed to be. A clean dude, but I guess she got mad because he, he was glorifying it and left him. But it is what it is. You know, his experience, he could have said, yeah, it could happen. You know, you know how many chicks I smashed? 
All the famous chicks he smashed. I can't remember the radio interview. It could happen. Okay? It could happen. He get mad at Kanye West. He said, well, won't you come on Wilder now? Come see about it. Come come address it. Come address me about it. You know, that's what that's what girls do. That's what females do, okay? And that's what bitch niggas do. They run the, uh, the social media to, to cry and, and put their business out there to make them look weak. Kanye look weak doing it. He been a weak dude. You think I'm going to support a raccoon? Cold word. You think I'm going to support a raccoon? I know. All this bug dancing and boot licking he been doing, I would never support Kanye West. Yeezys, whatever he doing, never. And the whole Tyson Bedford thing was kind of separate from this. You know, Tyson Bedford, you know, um, you know, said he didn't like uh, Kim Kardashian, you know, all that fake body shit on Instagram. And she turned to call him homophobic. And there has been some rumors, and I heard some stories by Ali Vegas about Tyson Bedford being that way, okay? But, that you know, that's his thing. But he said he wasn't. Um, he supported uh, the, uh, the LGBT, whatever community. But, um, you know, in an Instagram post, and he said, but he's not gay, okay? I heard otherwise, but that's just a rumor, okay? He said he not, but, and then, you know, he said, you know, on a post or whatever about Kim Kardashian, and I guess she called him homophobic. He came back on the post and said he didn't like the fake body, her body fake, and what he into or whatever. You know, but your wife opened the door, uh, but I think she called him homophobic, okay? You know, she, she, he just, they just mad because he don't over glorify her? I don't like that fake shit neither, okay? All right, they fake. We all know their bodies fake. We seen women in the hood with better bodies than that, and it's actually naturally real. You go to Africa and find sisters with better bodies than that. It's actually, it's naturally real. And and Kanye West took it and got mad at that as well. He won't smoke with with all the people in Hollywood. Go see about him. Don't go on Instagram. That just make it seem like you a punk bitch. You ain't gonna do shit no way. That's how I look at it. If I'm drink, I ain't apologizing, man, because I know his punk ass ain't gonna do shit. Okay. If I'm Nick Cannon, I ain't apologizing. I'm Tyson Bedford, I ain't apologizing. What are you going to do, whoop me? Obviously, he want to go to social media and beg for an apology and let everybody know he needs an apology. I mean, I already done won. He on social media, you know, trying to get the fans to, uh, you know, push these dudes and, and tarnish these dudes' name. And they going to do shit but give him more promo. Oh, he fuck Kardashian. Hell yeah, yeah. That's something about Kardashian. He a weak nigga. He should have went to go see him, you know, face-to-face, got on the phone with him, that didn't work face-to-face, and squash it. All right? But it's the Boston Clinic and more. You can see more music and entertainment videos like this on this channel as well. Uh, and don't forget, we got a Raw and the Cut podcast. Links in the description as well. One time for the one time. TBC and more. We gone.